Hello there, SM Spoons here, and this is desktop head tracking using the Nintendo Wii Remote and our friend, Compass Fusion. So, basically, what is head tracking? Well, head tracking allows the computer to know the position of my head so that it can adjust the image, making it sort of working with the computer instead of look, with looking at a flat screen looking more like a looking at more through a, like a window frame where objects will actually move around depending on what, what angle you view the screen at now to set this up you're going to need the two plugins that I mentioned in the links and you're going to need a Nintendo Wii remote obviously other thing you're going to need is a Bluetooth adapter for your computer your sensor bar or any kind of pair of infrared lights and some free time. Now, for best effect, what I've done is I'm actually running Compass without a desktop environment. And as you can see, we're just using a black background here. And that should help us get the full effect of uh, the plugin. Here's the tricky bit. You ought to construct a little sensor bar rig that you can put on top of your head that'll stay there. And this is kind of harder than it looks. What I did is I found this cap. I'll just put some duct tape, like literally, around the sensor bar in the cap to make sure it stays in place and it doesn't fall off my head. Now, the first thing you're going to do is make sure the plugins that you want are enabled. So you go down to We Track. Make sure that's enabled. And there's also another plugin called Remote. And that should appear in Utility. Make sure that's enabled too. Now, after you've done that, it's time to connect our Wii Remote to the PC. So, all we have to do is just make sure our Bluetooth thing is plugged in and it works. Test this out with a mobile phone or something. Right, so the next thing we do is we press Shift. Super W. Message will appear on screen. Press 1 and 2 on the Wii Remote. Now, you have to keep on holding it down until it tells you that you can release the buttons. And your light should start flashing in a slaughter pattern. It should be any second now. Alright. So as you can see, the lights are going and some output from the terminal is coming out. Alright, so now we're ready. So we start piping data from uh, the Wii Remote plugin to the Wii Tracking plugin with the Alt, Super, and R keys. It's started already. Now for head tracking, what you got to do is you've got to put the Wii Remote sort of at eye level. So that would be above your TV, sort of facing upwards a bit, just there. Alright, and this is what it looks like without head tracking. So you can see, depending on what angle I have the camera, it doesn't really do much, unfortunately. And this is what it looks like with head tracking. So now if I try to look in between some of these cracks, you can see clearly, depending what angle you view the screen at, If I get closer, things kind of zoom in. I'm look between that crack. I just look over there. Look back. This is really cool stuff to play around with, actually. If I go back, everything's kind of zoomed out. I can see more. If I look at this angle, I can see more that way. If I look at this angle, I can see more that's over here. So. This will actually be a really neat concept. Just play around with it a little more for you. When um when we can actually get some sort of display technology which will allow us to have sort of infinite resolution, right? So you've got windows on the sides that you can't actually see them. So you look to the right and you'll be able to see more windows, right? And this is only really the tip of the iceberg. Now, what I can also do is I can get another Wii Remote, connect it via the U-Input hack, 
and use that as a pointer, but can't really do that now. So any X devs out there, I want input redirection.